All right, so good morning, everybody, or afternoon or evening. This is Miss Chris with Miss Chris Reads, and today we are going to read a story called Little Bug and the Noisy New Neighbor, written and illustrated by Melanie Hawkins. Way down in the meadow, right next to the tree, lived a brown little bug. He's happy as could be. In his yard, he worked hard as he cleaned up his nest. Bug's life was so simple, it was truly the best. He saw a new bug who moved in next door. He'd hoped she'd be quiet like his neighbor before. With a thud, the house shook from this grasshopper bug. The noise was too much. How he missed his friend's slug. Well, hi there, new neighbor. This bug had a smile. It's so nice to meet you. Want to hop for a while? I do not, scowled the bug as he stomped with a frown. I wish you'd go back to your old little town. Your noise is annoying. You are too wild for me. I like my life quiet. Now hush, leave me be. With a frown on her face, she looked at the floor and wiped away tears as she closed her front door. As the evening sun fell, little bug lay in bed. The sound of soft music filled the quiet instead. I can't sleep with this noise. I need quiet all night. But he listened more closely and was filled with delight. The noise will continue. It will never cease. As the melody flowed, his heart filled with peace. And then he felt sorry for the words he had said. He would have to say sorry, but that filled him with dread. The music stopped short when he knocked on the door. I'm sorry, I'm loud. She looked sad as before. Your music is beautiful. You're so sweet. I was wrong. Can you forgive me, please, and keep playing your song? That night the bug learned being different is fine. Some bugs are wild, but their friendship's divine. Each eve rounds a fire in the still of the night. They love to play music and dance in the light. The end. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this story. I know Miss Chris did. Uh, Miss Swoop and Miss Tracy, we all miss you. I'm sorry that I wasn't able to use webcam today. But I hope to see your beautiful faces very soon. Be sweet to one another. And I'll see you very soon. All right, guys. Bye.